I remember the first time I ever needed a copy of my driving record. I was applying for a position at a driving company. I never really stood why they wanted it at the time. I thought, how does this determine if I will do my job efficiently? After growing some and becoming a bit wiser, I now understand why the company I was applying for wanted a copy of my driving record. For a number of people, they also will need a copy of their driving record at some point in their life. The record, though, can have some damaging effects such as higher insurance premiums if there are a number of infractions or incidents on the driving record. I would like to provide everyone with a few tips on how to clean up your driving record if it isn't as pleasant as you would like it to be. The first tip for drivers who have a bad driving record is to stop speeding. The reason for this is that speeding tickets is the number one reason that causes people to have a bad driving report. The best advice here is to always follow local speed limits at all times. You never know when a patrol officer is out looking to get their monthly quota. The second tip for drivers with a bad driving report is to remember to allow yourself plenty of time to get to your destination. This may mean having to leave earlier than you wanted to in order to reach your destination on time. However, this beat sitting in your car for an hour while waiting on an officer to finish the paperwork associated with you receiving a speeding ticket. The next tip that drivers should consider when cleaning up their driving report is to take a defensive driving course. The defensive driving course can refresh some aspects of safe driving that drivers may have forgotten or tend to ignore. Taking a defensive driving course can also offer certain discounts on auto insurance premiums depending on who your auto insurance is through. Tip number four for keeping a good driving report is to remember to keep your emotions in check. I know that this can be very difficult for some people. This is especially true when someone cuts you off and then starts driving 15 miles below the speed limit. However, giving in to your emotions can cause you to make a regrettable choice that can cost you your good driving record or worse depending on the situation. In conclusion, with these tips, drivers should have a better understanding on how to improve and keep a good driving record.